it does seem to me that this is a, a package of legislation without any friends. If I might add, yes, uh, please. Senator Hanson Young, I think we've had a long consultation over two or three years around what should be in both a revised set of environmental laws and and critically around environmental standards. Mm. And I think we've had good opportunity to represent what should be in those standards, following on from very clear guidance from, um, from Graham Samuel's review of the EPBC Act. The, the disappointing thing is that the substance around the standards and indeed even the requirement under law to have the standards and have, have them legally enforceable has been delayed, mm. you know, indefinitely or to this third mm. tranche, and that's the great disappointment for mm. us. And that's why we can't see how these uh, proposals under the current bills are going to make any substantive change to our trajectory and, and to stem biodiversity loss, because they would depend so much on what comes, what remains to come. In so most stakeholders from right across the spectrum have put to me that this is very much cart before horse. We've got an entity that is being established to administer the same laws. Is there any way in which these bills can be retrofitted with everything you've asked for? Senator, if the EPBC Act were uh, amended now, as is quite possible, mm. to insert a head of power to, for the minister to make standards and f to require that decisions comply with standards, then the minister and the government could get on with the job of making those standards and changing and improving ex the existing regime um, while the Stage 3 amendments continue to be developed. So, yes, it is possible to make an improvement now, even though it doesn't go as far as we'd like. It's not that we would be dumping brand new ideas into amendments. All we would be doing is trying to create that clarity in the amendments that speaks directly to the words that have been stated in policy uh, for, for years now and that reflect the commitments that we've made on the global stage.